Welcome to the 2021 Wasi Biology Theory. The question one here, we have a general statement that runs through for the whole of question one, and it has to do with blood, components of the blood, and you know the circulatory system, anything that has to do with the blood, you find it in question one. So let's start right from the questions on our left, and we'll look at the answers on our right. So a sample of human blood was put in a test tube and allowed to spin in a centrifuge. The components of the blood were clearly separated. Okay, so we've seen that. So the components of the blood, so A is asking for the main components of the blood, and we have them here. So we have the blood plasma platelets, white blood cells, red blood cells. And the B, I is asking for what layer will be on top of the test tube. We know it's the blood plasma, which is also known as the supernatant. Um, so the I, I is asking for the blood component that describes pathogens, we know is the white blood cells. Then the one that is biconcave in shape, the red blood cells, biconcave in shape. Then which would be relatively low in hemophilic conditions, that is the IV. IV here is platelet. Then the next one is which is produced in the bone marrow. We have the platelet, we have the white blood cells, we have the red blood cells, they are all produced in the bone marrow. So the next one is which is nucleated. Okay, before that, which is a thrombocyte? The platelet is known as thrombocyte. And the vein I the vein I is asking for nucleated, means it has nucleus. The white blood cell has nucleus. Yes. Then the C mentioned three chemical substances transported by blood. So chemical substances transported by blood. Let's see. We have we have all of these. We have hormones, digestive food substances, antibodies, dissolved gases, toxins, mineral salts, urea, or uric acid, which are waste substances, water, and vitamins. And this question is asking for diseases associated with the blood or associated with the circulatory system. We have anemia, hepatitis, sickle cell, anemia, hemophilia, AIDS, malaria, leukemia. All of these are to do with organs that help in the production of substances into the blood, the blood cells, and so on. So the E, which is the last part, explain briefly why a disease of blood could be dangerous. So this explanation here is talking about how blood is a, serves as a medium of transportation and circulates major um, substances to the organs and could be deadly to and life-threatening to the one who has the blood disease. Blood transports substances and if there's disease of the blood it means substances will not be transported which could be threatening to the life of the individual. Question 2 is asking for what is dentition. Dentition refers to the number First to the number shape arrangements of the tooth in the mouth and jaws of an animal. Then describe briefly the generalized structure of a human tooth. So just the tooth and then the structure, the parts of the tooth. So we have the main part here, the crown, the neck and the root, which is the visible. And then you now pick the neck and go into detail so that's how to answer questions in biology. You have to know how to answer questions. You don't just start anyhow, otherwise you lose precious marks. So after talking about the main parts, crown, neck, and root, you now pick the neck, talk about the neck, talk about, pick the crown, talk about the crown, pick the root, talk about the root in that order. So the C is list three food substances that plants manufacture for glucose. So, plants can manufacture starch, sucrose or maltose, cellulose, oil, proteins. Plants can manufacture all of these. If you look at the nutrients that you get from food substances taken in, then the D is asking for a diagram 6 to 8 centimeter of an experiment set up to show the oxygen, to show that oxygen is produced during photosynthesis. So we have the diagram here. So just the diagram. So that is it. And every diagram should have a heading. 
as you can see the, as you can see the diagram is labeled nicely okay so we move on to question three So complete the table below by placing each of the organisms in the heading. Which one is a decomposer, a producer, and a consumer? This is ecosystem. So mucobacteria mushroom are decomposers. Algae water leaf, water lettuce, lemna are producers, and then dog, cat, and tadpole are consumers. List four products of decomposition. So after decomposition, what is produced? We have carbon four oxide, methane, ammonia, and the rest. You can see them. The next one is mentioned three rows of decomposers on a refuse dump. So what do the decomposers do? The mucor, the bacteria, and the mushroom. So they feed on the decaying organisms. They form a link in the food chain, and they form a link between biotic and abiotic factors in an ecosystem. So they facilitate recycling as well. Then the last part of question three. These three materials found in refuse dump, which would not be affected by the action of the composers. You know, there are certain items or materials that do not decompose readily, like plastic, metals, and then ceramics. These take years to decompose, and these natural organisms wouldn't have any effect on them. So we move on to question four. Complete the table below, naming five wildlife animals in West Africa and one body part of each that makes them endangered because of the activities of humans. So we have them here, lion, peacock, crocodile, zebra, elephant, rhinoceros, tiger, parrot, snake and then so pangolin. So we have lion here, the, the canine, the tooth, the claws, the, f the fur and the peacock is the feathers, crocodile is the skin and then the meat, zebra is the skin flesh, elephant the tusk as usual, rhinoceros the horn, tiger the tooth, then parrot red feather, snake is the skin of flesh, and pangolin is the skin. So state three effects of each of the following in conservation of natural resources, poor economy of a nation. So when it comes to conservation of the natural resource, the effects on them, it says it leads to lack of funding also leads to poaching, it leads to inability to execute and enforce policies and strategies. The seas are asking for the role that the government can play in the conservation of natural resources. So what can the government do to conserve natural resources? Enacting and enforcing laws of conservation, formulating policies against poaching, creating ranches to avoid overgrazing, training officials to guard game reserves, and many others. So move on to question five. Complete the table below by naming a nutrient cycle that involves each of the giving processes and give other processes involved in a nutrient cycle. So we have combustion, precipitation, and then lightning. So with combustion, the nutrient cycle is carbon cycle. Precipitation is water cycle, and then lightning is nitrogen cycle, definitely. So when it comes to carbon cycle, what are the processes involved? Photosynthesis, decomposition, decay, respiration, fossilization, and then burning as well as volcanic eruption. Then water cycle condensation, clouds gathering, evaporation, perspiration, and transpiration. Then when it comes to the nitrogen cycle, denitrification, nitrification, decay, decomposition, and modification of putrefaction. Then the bee is asking for irritability, which is um, a life process of all living organisms, the ability of living organisms to respond to stimuli in the environment. Let's complete the II says complete the table below by stating the type of response elicited by each of the giving actions. Elena moving towards the source. So what type of response? With Euglena, it's called positive phototaxism or narcissism phototactic. Then open and closing of the mimosa plant, the nastic movement, mosquitoes avoiding repellent, that's a negative chemotaxism, then earthworm moving away from light, negative phototaxism. So you see chemotaxism, chemo is chemical, 
negative phototoxism. Photo is light. Sperm cell moving toward chemical substances of an ovum is a positive. Positive means it's going closer and it's good. So, chemotaxism. Four o'clock, plants opening at 4 p.m. That's nastic movement, it's normal. Then, shoot of bean ceiling growing towards sunlight. Positive phototropism. Yes. Then the last part of the question five. Name three animals that exhibit territoriality. You know, they, these are organisms who always want to take territory. Okay, so even before looking at the answers, I can think of the gamma lizard who would fight with their tail to protect their territory. You have the tilapia, okay, the male gamma lizard, okay. Then crocodiles, birds, man, monkeys, hippotamus, apes, wolves, baboons, and lions. Then seasonal migration. This has to do with, you know, without looking at answers, you know, that there are these birds who always migrate. We have catfish, madfish. These organisms move in search of food and for other reasons. Then display, you know, they display, they do some forms of display to attract females and also scare off other enemies. Click on the image by my channel name to see more videos which I make.